You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Road Trans for Black and White Sports. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, like, comment, let us know what you think about this. So, something very interesting happened. Brittany Griner, that's right, Brittany Griner. Brandon Griner, we could call her that. Uh, Brittany Griner made her triumphant return, that's right, to Texas. Oh, the home state of Texas. Baylor, AAU team. My goodness, everybody was anxiously awaiting the return of Brittany Griner. At least, that's what the mainstream media is trying to lead us to believe. But if you do a little digging... You find out something very interesting about Brittany Griner's game versus the Dallas Wings. Now, in case you don't know, in case you're not familiar with Texas, I'm in Texas, okay? So, let me show you guys something right here. It is an hour and 27 minute drive from Waco, where Baylor is at. That is where Brittany Griner played her ball. Well... We can just bring up this. As we can see, Brittany Griner gets warm we welcome. I'm fighting a different fight. Even the Daily Mail. Brittany Griner gets ovation. Homecoming for Brittany Griner. And in all of this, the Dallas Wings, even on June 6th, released this Help Us Welcome Home Brittany Griner Starter Pack video on Wednesday night as we pack the park. And then you've got outlets like this that uh, went out here to talk about the fact that uh, I saw this um, and they're claiming, and I guess this is ticket sold, but uh, that the game was sold out last night. That the game was sold out. As you can expect, everybody would just pack a house. They would want to pack the house because it is Brittany Griner's triumphant return to Texas. This is her home, right? Now, I don't know if anybody remembers, but um, back when the Brittany Griner thing was all the rage last year, while she was locked up in Russia for her cannabis oil she brought into said country that's highly illegal, uh, while she was locked up, she got out, we did a lot of videos, and of course, they had some get-together at a church in Waco to welcome her home, and promptly nobody, re nobody showed up. Nobody showed up. So, as you can see on the Daily Mail, gets a rousing ovation as she returns to her home state. And I said, wow, okay, they really showed up. They packed the house for Brittany Griner. Now, I've seen different articles say this was a sellout. Well, it might have been a sellout, but they barely packed over half of the arena. So I don't know how many tickets they actually sold. But far as people actually showing up for said event, they didn't bother. They didn't bother to show up for Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner returned to Texas for a homecoming as the Phoenix Mercury lost 84-79 to to the Dallas Wings in the WNBA Stars' home state six months after her release from Russian prison. Before the game, she met in private with the women's basketball team from Baylor. The campus is 100 miles away. Where she was part of a 40-0 national championship in 2012. Close to home. AAU team is here. My high school team came up. Baylor came down. I was really, 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 that's four reallys, happy to see the Baylor team. That meant a lot having them here. Griner, who also had family from Houston and Little Rock at the game. Griner got a rousing ovation from the crowd of 4,242. 4,242 people. When staring at the lineups for the WNBA was announced, she responded by applauding to the crowd. And then made a jumper on the game's first shot. She scored 24 points. It was just a lot of support. It was just good seeing everybody 
and just being back in Texas. I mean, miss being here, so it was really cool. Okay, Brittany Griner. I mean, um, there is people standing up right there. Well, that's a few empty seats. Interesting. There's some empty seats there. There's some empty seats there. Mind you, the media is posing this as a packed house. Griner got a rousing ovation from 4,242. And I'm like, hmm, that's sort of interesting. Are you trying to tell me that this WNBA team only has a capacity of 4,242 for their games? Question mark? Interesting. Interesting indeed. So, I started doing a little research, right? Dallas Wing seating chart with a seating capacity of between 15,000 and 20,000. There is a seat for everyone. And I'm like, okay. And I saw this. This is from TicketSmarter.com. And I thought, okay, even that seems like a bit of a large, a, a large seating gap. So I went over to something I thought that would be a little bit more accurate. How about StubHub.com? College Park Center, which is home to the University of Texas Arlington Mavericks, has a seating capacity around 7,000 and is home to the Dallas Wings Games and is located in downtown Arlington, several miles from from downtown Dallas-Fort Worth. So, I got to look in multiple places, and in multiple spots, I actually found this 7,000 figure that was listed in the seating capacity. And I'm like, well, wait a minute now. All these media outlets are celebrating Brittany Griner getting this unbelievable packed house return to Texas right here where she gets all of this support, right? Question mark. They packed the house. Well, in case I'm losing my mind, let's just do some quick math here. Because 7,000, and I'm going to go with the lower number, 7,000 minus, minus 4,242. Are you telling me nearly 2,800 people bought tickets and just didn't show up? Didn't show up? Well, wait a minute now. I mean, hell, a lot of people specifically showed up just to see Brittany that supports her directly because of where she's at. How many actual fans showed up for Brittany Griner? What I'm telling you is this was not a packed house, and there may have been tickets sold, but that arena had 2,700-plus empty seats, barely over half of the people showed up to celebrate Brittany Griner in her triumphant return where she just played basketball 100 miles away and it's straight up I-35. Wow. Wow. That's unbelievable. That's, That's unbelievable. It's funny how things come out. If you just start looking, you just start peeling back layers... Interesting. Interesting. A rousing ovation. Everybody celebrating. Brave, stunning, and courageous. But barely over half the arena actually showed up. A capacity of 7,000. 4,242 fans actually, actually show up. And I'm surprised it was that. Was that. But this is, this is Brittany's home area. It's funny how this works out. When you start digging a little deeper into things. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Personally speaking, I think it's hilarious. This makes you wonder, in order to get, quote, packed house, sell out, whatever they wanted to try to claim it to be, how many corporate entities decided to buy tickets to this game? Because that does happen. Corporations buy tickets. They can say, oh my goodness, 
It's a sellout. Look how brave, stunning, and courageous Brittany Griner's triumphant return to Texas is. Except barely over half of people that can fit in the place actually showed. I'd say, personally speaking, that's pretty pathetic from where I'm sitting. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.